Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It's Jose, the California beekeeper. It is smoky out here and is it safe for my bees? Well, on this video, we're going to show you what you can do in order to help your bees out um, in these types of conditions. Right now we're in Northern California. Well, California, we're on fire and there is smoke everywhere. Make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up on this video. All right, let's do it. So when you have smoky conditions, um, there hasn't been anything scientifically proven that um, it's harmful for the bees, but Penn State did do some research on that topic about um, how do the bees do when it's smoky, wildfires. Um, and they did come up with this conclusion is that they, they fly a little less and they're not bringing in the, the, the nectar or the pollen as much as they would normally um, without the fires or without the smoke. So what we're going to do is we're going to just slap some pollen patties and we are going to feed our inside feeders. Kelly, my assistant for the day, we're going to try to fly so we can enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah. So here we have Dayton's brood builder patties with the honeybee healthy. This is a pollen substitute that provides your bees more protein with all the amino acid, vitamins, and lipids that they need. So the Honey Bee Healthy is added as stimulant, so the patties are readily accepted by the bees. And this is a 40-pound box with patties individually wrapped in one-pound patties. <music> So pretty much right here guys, we are just going to slap these pollen patties in between our uh, two deeps, crank the feed inside. So we are going to get these girls ready for wind rising them and um, make sure they build out have enough for stores to uh, make it through the winter. Uh, once the weather shifts here up in our Lassen Park uh, yard, we will move these out of here before it gets too ugly up here. Um, they get a lot of snow up here and uh, falling bees in the snow, it's not fun. Why do we like to puff the smoke, babe? To encourage the bees to go down. Yes. Down into the hive. So we are not smooshing any. We're, uh, the purpose of the pollen patties, guys, is to provide the bees with extra protein. Um, being that there's the smoke and they're not bringing it in like they normally would. They need their protein and their carbohydrate, which is their the feed there, syrup. And that's what they recommend at Penn State, that you should provide your bees when you have all of this smoke from wildfires. So with these pollen patties, they come with a piece of wax paper on the exterior of them, and you just go ahead and 
put it into the hive and with the wax paper, you don't have to remove it. So we're up here at the Lassen Park Yard and last night we decided to come up, stay the night. We camped out. So we thought it would be fun. Kelly's right over there. She is super pregnant, a month away. And she wanted to come out here and work. So, well, let's go. Just kidding. No, I don't do that. Good sport. I love you. Guys, so really the purpose on this um, video was to get familiar with the things that you should do when there is a lot of smoke from wildfires, a lot of smoke from, um, what, I don't know, farts. Um, but, so yeah, make sure you give your bees um, when you do your hive inspections. Make sure they're still bringing in pollen. If they're not, give them what they need. Supplement them with some pollen patties. Um, or dry pollen, whatever it is that your preference is. You know, when you give it to them directly on a pollen patty, they just seem to chew it up, eat it up, and put it away a lot faster. So um, crank that feed and get them ready for winter. So, all right, guys, we're done for the day. Yard is finished and we are out. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on this video.